to my channel so let's start with the second challenge so work with the flow that verifies customers and updates contact records so we need to create one field on contact object which with a data type of date so let's go to your object manager click and select contact then create one new field here which is of date type and then you should name it past customer verification click on next next and save it just a minute the agent needs to interact ok so you just need to save it then we need to add customer verification topic to our agent so let's go to our the topic customer verification click on finish click on the topic and check the actions we have these two actions here so we'll check here is this saying the existing action it works fine the other action verify customer ok so this is it for this then we need to save our flow with this label so you need to open the flow verify code and we need to save our flow with this label here so let's go to flows open your flow verify code so we need to click on save a new flow just paste the label here the description and we don't want to make any changes in the flow click on save so we don't need to change anything so we need to add one decision element here so let's go to your flow and click on plus add the decision element then label the element as is customer so we will label it here and we will specify the description as well so this is the description allow for two outcomes one for user with a filter to check if customer type is equal to the text user so one outcome is user so it should be user ok customer type we need user then after this let's go back so the flow follows the yes path this we already did arrange the existing set verified to true element so that is the first element in the contact branch ok so we need to arrange it in the contact branch so we will move it cut this element and paste this element over here so this is the first now let's see we need to add an update record in this so we need to add an update record element in the contact branch following the set verified by true so let's add update a record here ok let's go on this is the description we need to give then we need to filter condition contact id set to equals with value customer id so we need to filter the condition here contact id is equal to customer id here we need to set a field last customer verification with the current date so we will take the current date also you need to check your user should have your user should have this permission also let me show you the permission agent for service agent extended object access so that you can use last customer verification here in the flow let's move forward handle the contact path now we need to handle the user path here we need to add one assignment so for that we found that email address for a user record please provide an email address for a customer contact 
we need to make a variable and a constant so let's first make these things go to your resource select as a constant and then description data type would be text and give this value you are trying to validate a user record please provide the valid email address this is your constant here done now click another one which is a variable take the name and the description and paste it over here should be text now description is message displayed to the end user if verification process is complete but customer type is user not a contact so click on done now enter one assignment here so here we need to have our variable message after verification so what is our variable name message after verification user so let's take this it should be equal to our constant not contact so it should be this so message after verification user should be equal to this and we need to give the label provide contact email instead of user email after saving this i'm seeing this error so if you are also encounter if you also encountered this error then we need to go to version properties and then we need to remove this reference for verify code error click on save now click on save yeah it's fine now and we can activate the flow as well click on this new agent action from agent force assets click on your flow click on your flow name click on next now loading text you can give loading then anything else we need to give here stores the user provide a verification code that passed into the flow stores the user id contact id okay stores the id type whether it is user or contact so i think there is no change needed we just need to create a new action loading text we can't check for the agent actions okay so i think it's just fine if you finish here okay okay for now we can add this and click on finish here so we have this agent action here now let's go to your agent refresh the page that so permission set should have the access to the field last verification so we will go to the object settings select the contact here click on edit so we need to give the access also so make sure this permission set has the access for this field click on save we successfully passed our second challenge also just to ensure just check you have the descriptions in your flow so for this element also just have the description if i go back whatever we have entered like update record so the label should be right and the description should be available let me know if you face any issues and also if you like this video please subscribe my channel thank you guys and we will be solving challenge 3 in our next video thank you